Welcome to Mr. Foy's Easel. Well, on this program, we're going to do some more matching. And on this program, I'm going to be matching some cartoon animals uh, with these different subjects. Musician, juggler, cowboy, Oops, loafer, that's not really a profession, I guess. Chef and CEO, that last one means the boss of the whole organization. So let's begin with musician. As in previous programs, I have a stack of cards on the back of which is an animal. So let me reach in and select one. Okay. Musician. We're matching that up with with a dog. Well, I've heard dogs howling at the moon. I guess that's musical, but in cartoons it gets a little bit more serious, I guess. Uh, well, what is this musician dog doing? Well, he's strumming on the old banjo. Sitting on a little stool like that. And cart cartoons, when you have something musical going on, you have these little musical notes. So there's our dog musician. Now, our next uh, item on the list is a juggler. Let's look at my cards and see who's doing the juggling. A pig. All right, a juggling pig. Now, uh, anybody that's juggling stuff that's going up like that is probably going to be looking up like this pig here. Seems happy about it. By the way, in uh, cartoons, sometimes uh, the cartoon pig's feet look a lot like a real set of feet on a pig, but uh, some, sometimes they just put shoes on them. Well, this pig is doing a pretty fancy job. Of, you, you may recall I talked about lines in cartoons to indicate movement. Uh, I guess it could have had some movement on the dog, but well, these lines indicate the, that the balls are moving as, as they're being juggled. Now, we've got a musician and a juggler. Uh, let's see what we can do with a cowboy. What critter are we going to have as our cowboy? A lion? <laughs> A cowboy lion. Well, a cowboy lion. Well, let's let's start with his headgear. A big old ten-gallon hat. Uh, uh, I've drawn the one ear there. 
and the other one you can barely see. Looks like a happy cowboy. A lot of uh, cowboys in movies wear vests. And this one, I guess maybe decided cowboy boots were a bit much uncomfortable for him. So there we have it. Let's put a little color on our characters. Starting with a brownish looking pooch. And in the case of uh, Mr. Pig, Make him a little pinkish. Doesn't have a shirt on. And I think Mr. Lion might be colored like this. And it's probably a good idea to give him a kind of a dark vest. Well, let's uh, pause for a break, and when we come back, we'll be doing some more critters. Home security is now available through Conway Corp. It's an advanced solution backed by people you know and trust. Customize your system with motion detectors, sensors, light controls, and more. All managed from your wireless touchscreen or mobile phone. It's an easy way to protect the things that matter and the ones who matter most. It's safety for you. Powered by Conway Corp. Well... Let's look at our list. You know, I've mentioned activities right before the break, but this next one looks to me it's called, looks to me as if it's going to be a, a rather inactive character. I'll consult my cards and see which one that's going to be. An inactive <laughs> or a loafing. Uh, rooster. Okay. A loafer of a rooster. Well, let's start with his head and you can, he's not asleep, but you can tell he's, he's, he's pretty well coasting or taking it easy. Now, I've seen roosters on the farm that look kind of sleepy, but I never saw one that had his arms or his wings <laughs> behind his head like a, like a person would have. So here we have a rooster who's, shall we say, laid back. <laughs> it's Maybe he's got a touch of spring fever. Anyway, all he has to do is 
or his duties is to wake people up in the morning. Now we've got to the next to the last one, a chef. Okay, let's match the chef up with uh, Oh, a bear. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, Mr. Bear, I think I ought to have on a... a, a special hat, don't you think so? And from the expression on his face, he's kind of enjoying his activity as a chef. What's he doing here? Well, he's stirring something on the stove, we got a kind of a low stove here. And remember what I said about the motion lines. Now, here you, if you're stirring something, then uh, the motion is kind of going round and round, kind of like the juggler in a way. So there's a bear cooking up some stew. Uh, well, one last card and that's a duck. And the duck is the CEO. Let's see what we can do with that. Okay. A CEO, and in cartoons and maybe in real life, has a very self-important expression on his face, and he might be seated behind a, a great big desk kind of relaxed knowing that he's in charge. And behind him, in a lot of cartoons, you have a maybe a sales chart with a showing how business is going ups and downs and so on. Well, as we did with the creator, creatures before the uh, break, Let's see if, if we can color up these characters. Okay. Yes, do the roosters got a little red trimmings here. I'm gonna put a little red on that springtime sun. And give our rooster a yellow feathers and head and then just give them some orange looking legs and feet and a sort of a light orange beak. Now our bear is going to be a brown bear. By the way, those little crisscross lines that I put on on the bear, that's just it's supposed to show the, that he's a fur-bearing critter. Because the apron is, is white, and as far as the um, stove, which is kind of metallic looking, And oh, I almost forgot the background 
on our lazy chicken. And, and well, time is running short, so we have, haven't much time to do the coloring on our duck. But anyway, he's got an orange bill, and he does look self-important, doesn't he? Well, that's all the time we have. Tune in again for Mr. Foy's easel. <laughs>